quarterback, Ben Finley. We'll go ahead and take questions. We'll start with Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Ben, congratulations on Saturday. Um, now that you've had a chance to uh, sit down with Jake Spavitol and to watch some game tape, um, can you analyze how you thought you played? Uh, obviously, you had the one pick. I know you want back, but were you fairly pleased otherwise? Uh, yeah, you know, I there was definitely some plays I wish I could have back, including that pick and, uh, you know, just some decisions that, you know, were off. But, you know, that's what we're cleaning up right now. And, um, you know, it's just kind of back to the basics this week and, you know, just perfect what we already have in and just, um, you know, just be fast, play fast. You know. Okay, we'll go to uh, Jake Curtis from Cal Sports Report. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah, Ben, do you expect to play on Saturday? Um, you know, I always, I always am ready to play. You know, I, I didn't expect to play, but, um, you know, I did kind of have a, well, I guess every week, you know, when you're the backup quarterback, you have just a, a weird gut feeling, you know, it's like, and usually it just passes and you don't get to play, but, you know, I, I was ready and it just all happened so fast. I didn't have time to react, which was good. You know, I, um, you know, I was eager to go in, uh, you know, wasn't anxious or, you know, no nerves, which was great. You know, just went in and you know, just played loose. But what I mean is, do you expect to play this coming Saturday? Oh, this Saturday. Um, you know, I, I expect to, you know, I, I'm just going to be ready. You know, um, I'm, I'm glad Sam's healthy right now. And, you know, he's practicing. He was out of practice. And, you know, whatever way they can utilize me, you know, uh, for this Saturday, I'm just, I just want to win and, you know, help the team win in any way. Okay, are there other first-round questions for Ben? If you do, let us know. Okay, we'll go back to Jeff Ferrato then. Go ahead, Jeff. Ben, we haven't really had a chance to talk to you since the news came about Cal joining the ACC. Uh, you have a perspective on that, I'm guessing, that's different than almost anybody else. What was your reaction to that? And, and are you excited? How do you re respond to going back to that conference a year from now? Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm relieved we, we found a conference. It was, you know, the last four weeks, every week it's been a new conference. And... You know, started with Big Ten, Big Twelve, Mountain West, and then it was like a for sure we're going to the the Mountain West, and then it's now ACC. So you know the fact that we found a conference, and uh, you know I'm I'm obviously excited to go back home. It's definitely gonna be it's gonna be weird, you know, playing in you know Carter Finley Stadium and Keaton Stadium, all those, but you know playing with Cal. But yeah, uh, you know I'm excited, but you know most importantly I'm just focused on this week and you know this season. Just taking it. Understood. Yeah. For for Cal fans who've been going to the same Pac-12 sites for years to watch you guys play, are there some places to watch football in the ACC that'll be fun for them? Yeah, you know, there's there's some great places, and I'm I'm most excited, you know, just to play in some of these Pac-12 uh, stadiums, you know, because I've never been to them too, you know. So I think it will be fun for fans to get a new environment, um, you know. You know, you got Virginia Tech, you got, you know, NC State, UNC is a good place. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of different schools. It, you know, I hope we can travel. You know, I hope we can travel well because it's going to be hard. You know, it's it's not in everyone's timeline to, you know, take a four-hour flight out east and go to a football game and then fly right back. So, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited to play at, you know, Utah, Oregon, Washington. I just see those stadiums. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we'll go to Steve Croner from the San Francisco Chronicle. And then kind of followed up that a little bit. I would imagine three seasons in ACC country, you probably heard a lot about the SEC, being that you guys are fairly close geographically. Is there any uh, in increased uh, amp to play an SEC school, particularly with, with your background from the ACC? Yeah, you know, um, you know the SEC, it's – it's you know a big boy football and but you know the Pac-12 is, is is strong this year ACC strong I mean all the conferences are strong this year and uh, yeah it, it's really no different it's you know it, it's going to be a good team they're they're going to be ready they're going to be in all the right spots and you know we're just going to have to perfect our game and uh, you know I, I'm just I'm excited to play I think it's our first time playing Auburn ever here at uh you know most importantly I'm excited to play a home game I've never played a home game in the last I play, uh, this is my fourth year of college football, and it's going to be weird having the home crowd on your side. I've never, I've never experienced that, and only, only played away games, and so that, that's going to be nice to have some Cal fans and you know rooting for us. Okay, we'll go to Jake Curtis from Cal Sports Report. Go ahead, Jake. Hey Ben, you know, 
Okay, we're going to Thomas Dunn from Right for California. Uh, good morning, Ben. Uh, you talked about how pleased you with your perform, how pleased you were with your performance against North Texas. Should you be the starter on Saturday versus Auburn? Where do you feel like you need to go to help get Cal over the top? Yeah, I mean, you know, if if I get in on Saturday, it's just I got to make my reads and you know just play smart, take what they give me, and you know we don't have a lot of new stuff in, and so I'm gonna you know be sharp and just ready to play, and yeah, you know just you know we as a team just perfecting our craft and you know just getting back to the basics it's going to be important and you mentioned uh playing loose how crucial is it just for football players to go out there and just play loose and not have all that added, added extra pressure on your back yeah you know when, when you're thinking a lot that's when the mistakes and the mental errors come and uh you know that's that's why we spend tuesday wednesday thursday friday you know preparing and you know by friday night you got it all locked in and that's when you can just you know go to bed lay your head on the pillow and just be relaxed and you know, you got a little butterflies because that's, you know, it means something and it's a big game. But, you know, every week you just got to prepare as much as you can right now and then so you can go out there and just, you know, just have fun with it. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to Steve Croner from the Chronicle. Yeah, man, I'm not a very smart individual, as most people on the Zoom will attest. So uh, I'll ask you a dumb question. I both, I'm sure you and Coach Spavadol said after the game, that you left a lot out there, that, that, that it wasn't close to a uh, perfect performance. You, you got 669 yards and 58 points. How much better could you have been? I mean, those numbers are pretty hard to match. What, what left you saying we could have done more when you put up those numbers? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. When you look back at the tape, I think we left – probably two, three scores in at least 100, 150 yards on the on the field. And, uh, you know, whether that's just penalties or, you know, we had a couple drop balls, but, you know, it, it happens. Like we spend 330 days out of the year preparing for 12 opportunities to play. And it's you would expect it to be perfect, and everyone does, but it's not. You know, everyone makes mistakes. We're human, and, you know, it's just how we can respond to those mistakes. And, you um, you know, just as a team and just, you know, react, you know, it's going to happen every, every, every game we're going to have a mistake. And it's just, you know, you look back at it and you're like, oh, darn, but you know, whatever. Next week. Okay. We'll go to Matt Moreno from Cal Rivals. Uh, you complimented the running game after Saturday's game. Uh, Coach Spav was just talking to us and he mentioned how important that's going to be this week. What's impressed you about just that group as a well? whole? Obviously, everyone knows about Jaden and what he can do, but what's impressed you about the running back group overall, what you saw Saturday and just what you've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, our whole room has, you know, they have great vision. They got feel for it. We got downhill backs. We got we got shifty backs with speed. And, uh, you know, I think just having them back there and especially going in there in the game, just, you know, being able to lean on them. But, you know, this week I just got to make sure I'm not complacent and, you know, just as a, a as a whole team not relying on the run game as much, you know, because if when your run game's not hitting in a light box like it was Saturday, I mean, like we got Saturday, then you got to get to the perimeter and, you know, you know, just start spreading the ball out. But, yeah, we just got to make sure that we're, we're ready just in case, you know, just anything could happen. Can we go to Jeff Ferrano? Go ahead, Jeff. Ben, uh, you've only been around at Berkeley for a short time, really, and the coaches had never seen you play in a game. Whether you play this week or not, how satisfying is it to, for you to know that the coaches now have seen you, they know that you're capable, that you did a good job, and I presume you, you feel some confidence from them about that. Yeah, uh, you know, just confidence with the coaches and most importantly, I think, just the players. Um, you know, the first drive, we, it was it was a little – rusty and you know um you know I've, i almost felt a little nervous like i just wanted to go out and not prove to my team but just kind of let them know like hey I, i'm here and i'm gonna help them in any way and so you know that was one of the you know the biggest parts and just kind of um you know just making sure that they feel confident in me and you know i think we're gonna take that you know another step just this week in preparation and every, every you know every week on from from there but yeah just you know most importantly just the team and just you know the confidence with them you feel like you not belong but like that you know now it's working and they knew who i am and players coaches everybody yeah yeah you know it's just um you know i, I i've always felt like i belong and you know especially 
it, it definitely helps after a win like that. And... Thanks. Okay, guys, anybody with any final questions for Ben? Okay, I think that'll wrap us up for today. Thank you, everybody.